Hey, I am back with some compliance considerations. And for today, I am going to be talking about AI, artificial intelligence. Now, a lot of people think that artificial intelligence will mean that they're out of a job. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, it may require you to do your job in different ways and to maybe expand that job function or elevate into new careers or new jobs that we haven't contemplated yet. But as it relates to artificial intelligence, one of the important things is that you have to teach it. You see, the artificial intelligence just can't learn by itself. It has to have some programming, some guide rails. And in terms of the regulatory ecosystem, ethics around AI is going to be important. But let's not get off track. Compliance in AI. So I think the most transformative type of AI that can be applied in the next 18 months, yeah, tech moves fast, is generative AI. So for example, you've done a training, but then you need to test staff to make sure that they understand the compliance material, AML, CFT, and all of the other things, or whatever the training might be, um, you need to make sure that staff are tested to make sure that they retain that information use generative AI to develop a test. But when you use generative AI, you just can't apply that test. You actually have to look at it and do the test. And then if you use the AI to actually grade the test, so some automation in that process as well, uh, and especially for free form answers, so yes, no, true, false answers, yeah, pretty easy. But in some cases, you do want people to show they're working. How would generative AI review the comments? Will it get it right? See why you might not be out of a job really quickly. In fact, your job will definitely be expanding. I would encourage anyone to look up in this space. If I can find some, I'll throw some links in the description to this video, and I'll be definitely back with more compliance considerations.